So first off, I'll kind of introduce ourselves as Arconic. We've only existed in this name for about a month now. Uh, November 1st, Alcoa and Arconic separated. Uh, Alcoa was rolled out and Arconic uh, kind of took on the downstream, if you will, the engineered products and solutions portion of Alcoa. So Alcoa will remain as the mining, smelting, refining side of the business and then Arconic is all of the, uh, the things that would suit automotive uh, and other industries, aerospace as well. Uh, so sheet metal and fasteners and uh, engineered solutions. So the two that will probably interest this group the most are the ones that I highlight, uh, the Al Arconic fastening systems and rings. And I, I caught myself there. I'll probably say Alcoa again uh, before I'm done. So excuse me for that. Uh, but the two groups that probably interest uh, the automotive segment the most are Arconic fastening systems and rings, a uh, you know, full series of structural blind fasteners, lock bolts, uh, threaded inserts, and that type of thing, uh, as well as what I'm going to introduce today, but also uh, our, our rolled products group that supplies sheet metal to uh, automotive customers as well as aerospace customers. So uh, as far as automotive is concerned, our automotive support and presence, we have sales and manufacturing and support uh, locations all around the globe. Uh, I'm actually from our North American group. I sit in a desk in Waco, Texas at one of our manufacturing plants. Uh, we have a large technical development facility in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where some of this technology uh, was developed as well, as well as a location here in Telford uh, locally. So. The technology I'm going to introduce is, is really uh, best described as a, a hybrid of welding and mechanical fastening. And so to that end, it was uh, developed uh, by a collaboration of our technical center in Pittsburgh, uh, who have a lot of mixed material welding, joining, aluminum development uh, experience, as well as uh, my group that uh, is headquartered in Waco, Texas, that uh, has a lot of experience in mechanical fastening and joining. So uh, this, this new technology is a, a hybrid of those two schools of thought, welding, mechanical fastening, uh, and, and kind of brings some of the best of those two worlds together. So a lot of you have probably seen a chart like this uh, in your experience and, and over the last few years. A lot of companies are choosing uh, to specifically go down one of these two paths in terms of vehicle light weighting. They're either going the upper path, uh, which is aluminum intensive, like you would see in the uh, Ford F-150, or they're taking the, the other path, uh, which is uh, mixed material architecture. And you know, there's, there's pros and cons to both approaches. The mixed material would be more like what you're seeing in the Cadillac CT6, where you're very selective about uh, using high strength steel and maybe your safety cage, but uh, because you're, you're more comfortable with that uh, and going with aluminum and your closures and, and uh, outer panels. So, uh, but we feel that our technology is, is well situated to help you out along either one of those paths that you choose to take. So in general, RSR is uh, you have your rivets that we show on the left-hand side, either in steel or in aluminum. Uh, and then you, you add that fastener to your existing steel spot welding infrastructure or a uh, strategy, you feed these rivets to your weld at the weld station, and then you can make the weld with that rivet in the joint, and you get the cross section that you see on the right side, which is an example of using the steel RSR to join an aluminum panel to a steel panel. Uh, so you're not, with this technology, you're not actually welding the top sheet to the bottom sheet you're welding the fastener to the bottom sheet and capturing your top sheet, but you still have a nice rigid joint there. Uh, and so that allows you to, to join a, a large variety of materials as your top sheet. So uh, obviously your bottom sheet needs to be a metallic sheet, and that, so that's either steel or aluminum, and then you, you choose the fastener to match that bottom sheet. But then you can join uh, either metallic or non-metallic sheets to that bottom sheet, so it can be painted or unpainted steel or aluminum, it can be uh, plastic, it can be just about anything that you can imagine. The large majority of our development so far has been uh, mixed material, aluminum to steel, and, and the reverse. So I've, I've got a couple videos, if we, 
we found a way to make those those work that words only go so far to describe what you're seeing with this process. So there's two ways that this works. This is the first, where you actually have a pilot hole in the top sheet and the rivet passes through it. So in this case, we're going to go to So then there's a, a second video as well uh, that shows that if t aluminum is your top sheet with a steel fastener, you would not have to have a pre-pierced hole in the aluminum sheet. Still get some uh, moderate.